Hey, what's going on everybody? Willis here. We're back with another Genshin Impact video. If you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, guys, with bell notifications turned on so you do not miss a video. Once again, guys, if you're new to the channel, I am running a Genesis Crystals giveaway, which you can then use to buy Primo Gems. If you guys would like to enter that giveaway, this isn't required. You don't have to do this, but leave a like on the video, leave a comment down below, and uh, normally I'm going to be picking winners from my Discord as well, discord.gg slash Willis, and the comment section and stuff like that. But yeah, before we jump into today's video, a quick word from our sponsor. So huge thanks to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. The game is free to play, guys. It's cross-device for Android, iOS, and PC. It has over 1 million active players playing daily. It's so easy to get started in Raid. There's an active Discord community with over 87,000 members and different languages just for Raid. So this month, I've actually been opening a ton of shards to try and get another Legendary. Unfortunately, no luck, but I did get a few awesome epic champions. So I managed to pick up Fenax from the Sacred Order. He is a epic attack champion with really good damage. I also managed to get Virgis from the High Elves, who is an insane defense champion. Another thing I love to do in Raid is running at dungeons. I don't think my team is strong enough yet to take on the Fire Knight yet, but I'm working towards it. A quick tip, if you are a beginner like me, is to use the Tavern to break down your lower level champions to buff better, stronger, higher tier ones. I guess the best tip I can give your main priority when you start is to play as far as you can through the campaign. If you get stuck and you can't be a level, usually it's one or two things. Either you need to level up your champions or you need to upgrade your artifacts. Another great tip for you guys, you can actually get cool artifacts in battle, but the best ones can only be obtained when you step into the dungeons. The keeps are full of excellent artifacts. Do not neglect boss battles as the victory is definitely worth the risk. So Raid just released the Artifact Forge where you can save time and craft artifacts directly, as well as a new advanced quest system with amazing rewards. They're also bringing out new champions and they're developing their sweet looking Doom Tower as we speak. If you guys need help with Raid or anything like that, subscribe to the guide on Teleria World to find out the truth about Raid Shadow Legends. Link to this will be in the video description. This month, I've got a really cool offer for you guys. If you use my link, you'll get 100,000 in-game silver and one free epic champion, Jotun, from the Barbarians faction. Jotun is sweet and he's a purple epic, so getting him completely free is so good. Be sure to use my link. All this treasure will be waiting for you in the top right when you log in. Be sure to claim it. This is only available for the next 30 days for new players, so consider trying out Raid Shadow Legends today, guys. Uh, let's try and get this video to 2,000 likes. That would be awesome. And with that being said, let's uh, jump into today's video. So, I guess one thing I wanted to cover in this game is stuff that I'm struggling as, as I guess a new player. Um, I started around, I guess, four, five days ago now, and I'm around Adventure Rank. 29 and what a lot of people don't know is in this game most of your power actually comes from your artifacts yes the artifacts that you equip on your characters these actually give you a ton of damage now uh there's a lot of people i've been playing with that didn't even realize that these are even like decent to like upgrade even worth upgrading um if you have these guys like just upgrade them because they literally give you the biggest power spike in the game like i went from doing no damage to literally insane damage um stuff you kind of want to be looking out for is the gladiator set gladiator set is really good and literally pick up uh this thing called the royal flora this is pretty much acquired from collecting all the animoculus and geoculus on the map which can be done in maybe a few hours if you just do the grind i know it's a horrible grind to do but it's a free five star artifact now if you are like me and you do know about the artifacts you probably ran out of them because the only way to upgrade artifacts is by using other artifacts and when you run out of artifacts there is no way to upgrade them so i kind of ran into a scenario where i was looking for just trash artifacts i can use to put into my artifacts and with this method i'm going to show you it's pretty nuts so this is something you kind of want to do at the end of the day just to cap out like your adventure or whatever if you don't need to farm for any of your weapon upgrades if you don't need to farm for any of your character ascensions uh this is kind of what you want to be doing so open up the map and this is sort of relevant if you're around like level 20 you'll notice there's these islands down here in the bottom right and there's actually going to be a uh, domain down here now what's different about this domain than other domains is this domain drops a ton and i mean a ton of just trash tier artifacts which you can use to upgrade your good artifacts and obviously it's going to cost you a bit of resin to do but i found that this domain out of literally all of the domains on the map drops the most amount of artifacts now granted obviously if you're doing your weeklies you're going to get a ton of artifacts from doing your weeklies like the dragon and obviously the wolf these drop just insane amount of artifacts but if you're off your weekly cooldown and you obviously already killed them you can't just farm them so 
I recommend going down here in the domain of Gaiyun. There's a lot of fire enemies, um, so bring some water. I was using Mona. Very, very good. And then obviously when you start picking up your good artifacts, guys, you can then start upgrading these uh, sort of gladiator ones that you have. Like I said, I'm, I'm sort of just stockpiling a bunch of just trash artifacts I can then use to just upgrade like purple and five star ones that I get. Um, I've kind of just stopped upgrading at this point because I want to sort of get good rolls on my artifacts before I start just throwing them in. But yeah, as an example, yeah, just if you want to upgrade something, you then have to go to enhance and then obviously you have to add a bunch of just the crap blue ones and yeah, you just enhance it like that. Unfortunately, there is no material for artifacts as I'm aware that can, you can just throw into this like you can with weapons. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy this little quick video. Go run that domain in the bottom right of the map. It is in the sort of earth region down on these islands here. It is a bit tricky to get to. I can't actually remember the way to get to these islands, but I know you have to do something on the edge here where you can then glide to this island and just basically hop over to each island and then eventually you'll get to the domain of Gaiyun. I hope you guys just enjoyed this cool quick video. Remember to jump in the Discord as well, guys. Discord dot gg slash willis and remember to support the video with a like and a comment if you guys enjoyed it but yeah i'll see you guys in my next one this has been willis gaming and peace